Well, I think I'm going to do a valve lash adjustment on the old Cummins today. Seems like it's getting a little more noisy than it used to be, so it's got a little bit of a tick, but I've never done the valve adjustment to this thing uh, the whole time I've owned it, and I've driven it for over 100,000 kilometers myself, and she's got uh, about 330 or something thousand kilometers on her now, so uh, I'm sure it's due. I don't want to show you in there, it's all dirty, but <laughs> anyways, we'll give it a go, see if it uh, makes it a little more quiet. But, oh yeah, this flatbed here, it's still here, so if somebody wants it, come take it away, I'll give you a super good deal on it. I need the space, I'm very low on space in here, and I, uh, I got another project here planned that I definitely need that space for, so... Somebody come take it. So it's a pretty easy job to do. Anybody who has a Cummins, you should do it because you can get a little more power and fuel economy, lower EGTs. But uh, yeah, you just pull your valve core off, a couple of bolts, maybe 10, 8 mil bolts at max. Actually, they're 10 mils. And then you come under here, and you see I put a dot on both sides so it's easy to find, but that's the, whoa. That's the top dead center mark, and uh, you need to get that at the top. And then if both your intake and exhaust rockers are loose under the valve cover, then you're good to start. So, you can see it's on the bottom right now. And we go up here, and my uh, rockers are tight here, because the valves are compressed. So we'll turn it around and we'll see if it works. But uh, it's super simple to turn these engines over. I know in the first gen we had to build like some special tool and uh, in the owner's manual for these or the service manual they say you need like an engine barring tool that you put in like, uh, or I can show you, um, oh it's too dark but it goes way back down in there uh, on the flywheel and you turn the engine over but you don't need any of that crap. You just, just need a nice 15 on an easy old wrench, you come under here. And uh, right there, you can see there's a couple 15s under there. As simple as that. One hand laying on the ground, nice and easy. Turn the whole engine over. Get that uh, top center mark at the top. Probably went too far. <laughs> Look, really hard to see. I wish they give you something to line up with. Yeah, I can't see anything on the camera. So uh, once you got her at top dead center and both your uh, intake rockers here are nice and loose, then you can do, uh, here it's easier just to show this, you can do intake 1, 2, and 4, and then exhaust 1, 3, and 5. And then you spin the engine over 360 degrees, and then you do intake 3, 5, and 6, and exhaust 2, 4, and 6. So right now we should be able to check one, I already checked them, so I... No, they're definitely out. So I've got a uh, 12 thousandths guy here. And you can see, it just goes right in, easy. This is an intake, so it's supposed to be 10 thousandths. So to adjust that, you just back this guy off right here, and there's an Allen key under this uh, oil. And you just tighten it up until you can fit your 10 in there, and it feels nice and snug, and then you can move on to uh, your next one. And same thing with the exhaust over here, except for they're 20 uh, instead of 10. Uh, you can look here on your valve cover, it should say the factory specs. It'll focus for me. Maybe? Yeah, there you go. 10 and 20 intake and exhaust. So you're pretty much best off setting it to what the factory says. You could go tighter if you wanted to, you'd get more duration and more lift, but uh, I've never done it, so I wouldn't know if it's a good or bad thing to do. You'd probably maybe overheat your valves or something like that. I have no idea. And uh, when they're a bit loose, you can definitely tell, you can hear it when you're standing outside the truck beside it. You can, you can hear them slapping away, so anyways, we'll get them tightened back up and then uh, we'll have some good fuel economy and it'll be nice and quiet. See, fairly simple. You can see, uh, moves nice and easy. 
tighten them up a little bit. Get a little tighter. Tighten them up a little bit. That's fairly tough to move. That's pretty much where you'd want it to be, where it's like grabbing a little bit. And then if you go a little more, too tight. Doesn't move at all. So there you go. Easy. Well, it was definitely time to do these valves. I thought it was pretty funny, so I figured I'd show you this one. See, that's an exhaust. It should be uh, 20 thousandths, right? Well, we'll pull that guy out of there. See if we can get it to focus. 25 thousandths. <laughs> yeah, most of them are about 5 thousandths out, so definitely time for a, a adjustment. Well, I found a pretty good example of one that's uh, to spec and one that's a little bit loose and why it'll definitely make my truck a little quieter. This one's to spec and this one's loose. Yeah, you can definitely notice a big difference in sound. Well, uh, finish that up. I had to adjust every single one uh, except for just one, I'm pretty sure. But I figure while well, I still got the valve cover off, I'll start it up and have a look at them rocking away. Might as well, eh? It's a cold start too, so. But I am in a shop. Check set, uh, 89 degrees Celsius. So, I'll have a listen to it outside. Hopefully she doesn't roll away on me. It sounds much better. Probably really hard to tell if you don't hit listen to the truck all day every day, but I can definitely tell. It sounds way better, considerably better. <laughs> 